Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 12th of February. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 3. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. So God knows your heart and he wants to change it because he wants to change you. There is an, an interesting prayer in 1 Kings chapter 8 when King Solomon brought the, the Ark of the Covenant, symbol of the presence of God in amongst his people. So he brought the Ark into the temple and then he prayed. And in verse 39 he says, Then hear from heaven your dwelling place, forgive and act, deal with everyone according to all they do since you know the hearts, for you alone know every human heart. God alone knows every human heart. He knows what we are thinking now. He knows about our fears, our pains. He knows of our sufferings. He knows everything. So he, he has come down to us to help us, to heal us, to cleanse us, to purify our hearts. There is a word of hope in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 12 to verse 6, verse 12 to verse 16. Verse 12 says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword, and penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. And here comes the word of hope for you today. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has ascended into heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. Why? For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are. Yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. So God knows your heart, but God has got the solution. To, ch to change it, to purify it. He is a God of mercy, and you can approach the throne of grace, as it says here, without fear, but without fear and with confidence, knowing that he is going to, to open his arms to you, to welcome you in his presence. That's why he came down to earth. His mission was to bring, to bring us back to, to him, to change our hearts. He wants to change us. That's why he came down here for. And Hebrews is calling him a high priest. The high, he's the person, there is no one higher than him. He represents God's glory in our midst. He came down to us so we would know God. He came down to us to, cle to cleanse us from everything that is hurting us, from everything that's bad. The wages of sin is death. But Christ came down to us to give us eternal life, to give us another life, to fill us with God's love. That's how he's going to purify your heart, filling you with his spirit, filling you with his love and grace. God bless you.